Hello friends, this is Dilara's Knitting. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I have a tutorial of a very interesting textured pattern. It's very easy two rows repeat. This pattern is double sided and both of the sides can be used as the face side because they're both very interesting and beautiful. So I will let you decide which side you like better. There are so many different garment ideas you could use this pattern for. I guess it all comes down to the yarn kind you use and you can use this pattern for any season starting from summer tops, spring cardigans to winter sweaters. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification button. Your support helps my channel grow and encourages me to create amazing content. Thank you and let's get started. For this pattern, you will need multiples of two stitches for the rapport and two for the edges so cast on any even number and for the sample i have 16 stitches the first row is the helping row so slip the edge stitch purl one knit one purl one knit one you see purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one and continue this pattern until the end of the helping row so we will have a nice uh, edge for our uh, pattern knit one and purl the edge stitch we are done with the helping row. You see the edge. And let's start the uh, report, our pattern. Row one, slip the edge stitch. Now knit one without letting the stitch go. Make a yarn over and knit two together through the back post you see again knit one and without slipping the stitch make a yarn over and knit two together through the back post and this is our uh, report again knit one without letting the stitch go make a yarn over and knit two together repeat knit one make a yarn over and knit two together through the back post repeat knit one yarn over and knit two together through the back post knit one yarn over knit two together through the back post one more time knit one without letting the stitch go make a yarn over and knit two together through the back post purl the edge stitch this is the end of our first uh, row. For the second row, let's start by slipping the edge stitch, purl one. and knit two together through the back post this is our report a repeat purl one and knit two together through the back post 
again purl one knit two together through the back post and repeat this pattern until the end of the second row as you saw in the first row we had an increase with a yarn over so we made three stitches out of two and in this row uh, we have a decrease so at the end of this row we're still going to have um, the number of stitches equal to 16 as we had in the beginning purl one knit two together through the back post repeat purl one knit two together through the back post and purl the edge stitch we have completed two rows uh, of our pattern now all you have to do is to repeat these two rows for your uh, project let's repeat the first row slip the edge st stitch and knit one make a yarn over without letting the stitch go and knit two together through the back post repeat knit one yarn over and knit two together through the back post again knit one without letting the stitch go make a yarn over knit two together knit one yarn over and knit two together through the back post knit one without letting the stitch go yarn over and knit two together through the back post once you get used to this pattern uh, you will see how easy it is there's just um, these little details that you need to uh, follow purl the edge stitch and we are done with the first row repeat and let's um, repeat the second row one more time together slip the edge stitch now we need to purl one and knit two together again through the back post repeat purl one and knit two together through the back post purl one knit two together again purl one and knit two together purl one knit two together and remember when we knit uh, two together we always knit it through the back post purl one knit two together through the back post purl the edge stitch now we have repeated our two rows pattern twice so we needed one helping row and four rows of our pattern and this is what we have once you continue to knit you will see the pattern more defined and uh, now I want to show you how this pattern looks compared to the bigger sample I knitted uh, earlier I think both of these uh, sides of the pattern look amazing and this is the end of today's tutorial thank you for watching hello everyone my name is Emin my grand made this channel so this is grandma's adventures i hope you enjoy this video see you next time and don't forget to subscribe bye bye